vinyl, CDs, cassettes, you name it, there's no doubt that traditional forms of media are making a comeback. So in a world where the convenience of streaming is unparalleled, is there still a demand for something a little bit more tangible? Hey guys, Louis from Smart Home Sounds here, and if you've watched the channel before, then you'll know I'm a big fan of my Sonos gear, and from the comments from our audience, it seems like quite a few of you guys are too, but I'm also a bit of a sucker for some good old-fashioned vinyl, so when I found out about this little guy, my interest was definitely piqued. Meet Moodplay, a product made in-house by German company Senec designed to bring a more tangible experience to your Sonos setup. But instead of vinyl records, you use these little NFC cards called Mood Blocks to play music through your Sonos speakers without you having to touch your phone at all. Now with the Mood Blocks themselves, there's a few different options to choose from. So you've obviously got all of your Sonos radio ones here, which play exactly what they say on the tin, but you've also got these blank creative Mood Blocks that come in 25 different colors, and you can choose what audio they send you to via NFC. It works with Sonos certified and will work with any of your Sonos speakers regardless of whether they're S1 or S2 app compatible, and you'll be able to play audio throughout your entire Sonos home ecosystem. This is definitely a add-on to your Sonos setup, and with a price tag of £222, I'm interested to see whether I think it's worth it after living with it for a few weeks. So a big shout out to the guys over at Moodplay for sending a few of these over, but as always, all thoughts shared in this review are 100% our own, and I will be also giving you guys a chance to win one. So, if you would like to be in with a chance of winning yourself a mood play, it's nice and simple. All you need to do is make sure that you're subscribed to our YouTube channel and you comment your Instagram handle in the comment section below along with your thoughts on mood play. Right then, back to how all of this works. Now, as I said, this connects up to your Sonos system and from what I've seen, you simply pop your mood block loaded up with your chosen playlist into here and then the music will start playing from your speaker. So let's give it a go. So I've just set this up in the Moodplay app, which is ridiculously easy, with some really simple instructions to get you connected to Wi-Fi and your chosen speaker. Now it should just be a case of placing one of these Mood Blocks in here, and after a couple of seconds or so, we should start hearing that audio coming out of our chosen speaker. There we go. You'll notice after I take the block out, the music will continue to play, but I have been told that in the next software update, there should be an option to toggle whether the music pauses or not when you remove a block from the bass, which is ideal. Now, as well as the app itself, you can now also use this bass to completely control playback. So if I twist this knob here, I can adjust the volume, press it into play pause, swipe to the right on this gray line for the next track and back the other way for the previous one. Now I've got to say that there is a little bit of functionality that the Moodplay I've got here is missing as it's a pre-production unit, which should let you be able to place your finger to the left or to the right of this gray line here for two seconds and trigger a group shortcut. Now this essentially will play your audio via one of the two groups of Sonos speakers that you will have hopefully set up in the app itself. So you could set it that the left to be in your main speaker you're always connecting to, and then the right side could be your whole home, for example. Now each group must contain your main speaker, but you can make the group as big or as small as you want, which is pretty cool. So at the moment, you're limited to either Apple Music or Spotify Premium, which hopefully should cover the majority of Sonos users. But this is a new product, and the brand have good intentions of adding further support down the line. So to add a playlist onto one of these, it's super easy and I'll show you guys right now. It's literally just copying the link of the playlist, album or whatever from your streaming platform, pasting it into the Mood Blocks app here, tapping the block on the back of your phone like this and there you go. Now you've also got these little stickers in the box if you want to label them or jazz them up a little bit so you don't forget which is which. Now look. I know what you're thinking. I've got a phone that can do all of these things, right? Well, yeah, you do. And for some of you guys watching, this will be something that you don't need. You have other ways of getting your content playing via your phone or voice, and a physical way of doing that might not be something that you're particularly interested in. Now, the way I look at it is, if the resurgence of vinyl has taught us anything, there's some serious value in the nostalgic approach to music listening. And to be honest, having something a little bit more tangible, blended in with the modern simplicity of Sonos, is something that I'm actually here for. It gives you more of a personal feeling of listening to music, and I do really like the idea of building up a collection of mood blocks. I'm also always here for something that gets me away from my phone a little bit more, especially when I'm relaxing at home. 
Now, for 200 quid, it's not a cheap accessory, but the build quality really has surpassed my expectations. I think it's pretty stylish, and I think it matches the Sonos aesthetic perfectly, coming in black or white to match your speakers. It feels solid, there's a nice premium finish to it, and there's no cheap plastic parts. Even the more subtle details are executed really nicely too. I mean, even these feet on the Mood Block stand a premium, so there's definitely been no cheaping out design-wise, which is probably why this has already scooped a Red Dot Design Award this year. The mood blocks themselves are pretty good looking too. They feel a little bit like credit cards to the touch and apparently they're actually made of vinyl too, so a nice touch there. Now, one thing that I do really want to mention is the shuffle feature. So if you're anything like me and you're always listening to your favorite playlists on shuffle, then you might notice that they don't always feel totally random when you're listening on the likes of Spotify. Well, that's because some streaming services don't want jarring differences between songs. So they actually use an algorithm to intentionally play songs that match each other one after the other, hence the repetition. Mood Play, however, offers a true shuffle feature that you can place on the custom mood blocks to ensure that you're getting an actual random mix of your favorite music, which I found keeps my playlist feeling more fresh. So if you tap the mood block on the back of your phone when it's locked, tap this little pop-up, you should then be taken to the now playing screen where you can adjust this shuffle button. Now I've been told that they're adding the option to do this when you set the card up from the start and that will be available in the next software update. Now speaking of, Mooplay have actually highlighted a few features and updates that they're hoping to bring to this product in the not too distant future. Now I won't get into all of them right now but I will leave a link below if you want to find out more. Now for me, it can only be a good thing when a brand is open to improving their products based on their customers. Now I'd love to be able to create my own images for the Mood Blocks, which again is something that I think they're looking to add down the line and I would like a little bit more functionality in the app to customize the experience itself. Now, I also think there's great potential with it for artists to be able to send you a mood block with an exclusive track on or maybe early access to their next album. Maybe even for companies to start sending out exclusive created playlists. I think of like Joe and Juice, for example. Again, something that I think the company are testing at the moment too. So after having played around with this for a couple of weeks now, I've found it to be a really, really intuitive bit of kit. I have to admit, I was a little bit skeptical about this when I first heard about it. Was it gonna be worth it? Would the design fit with my Sonos products? Would it work properly within my setup? But having spent time using this, I really like what this product is set out to do. Now, no. I don't think it's perfect yet, and I don't think it's gonna be for everyone, but I can see this being a great addition to a lot of Sonos homes, and I also think it would make a really good gift for someone who loves Sonos. Now, the Mood Blocks can be bought and used separately with your phone using NFC, which would save you 220 pounds, but for me, the whole Mood Play package is what makes up the overall experience. Now, personally, the way I see myself using it is for my different playlists. So I have probably five playlists that I rotate between, and I add new songs to each pretty regularly. Now, I've got a chill playlist, a new hits one, and a few more all on Apple Music, but I do also like some of the curated Joe and the Juice playlists that are on Spotify too. Now I can definitely see myself picking up one of the cards and popping it in to play the playlist that I'm in the mood for, especially with that true shuffle feature to keep the playlist feeling fresher. So guys, a little bit of a different one today and hopefully you all enjoyed it. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below and I'll catch you all in the next one.